lesson from the previous book, Write It Too. Today, we're going to start with our new book, which is Write Write One. Okay, I believe you guys received your books already, and so if you have it right now, also please get your pencil, your eraser if you need it, and turn your books on page six, unit one. All right. Okay, what is the title of Unit 1? Let's read together. I love my family. Say it again, guys. I love my family. We do love our families, right? Okay, and what is your task? Your task is definitely to write about your family. Okay, now, aside from this task, writing about your family, also, I'm going to teach you a little about um, adjectives in their comparative and superlative forms. Okay, now let's look at the picture. Okay, so this is an example of a family talking about who's younger or older and, and the youngest, like this. Alright, now here you can see there is the father and the mother, right? Over here, older brother, older sister, me, this is you, and younger brother, younger sister. All right. In other ways, you can say this boy is the oldest child, okay? And over here, the second oldest child, this is you, you are the middle child, and over here is the second youngest child, and the youngest child. Alright, now listen guys, so like what I said, in here you can see this word older, or this adjective older, and also here younger. Okay, when do we use this? That's right, so this is an adjective originally old, right? Okay, and then if you are comparing two things or two persons, you use ER, you add ER, or you can also add more. So in here, instead of more old, you say older, older than, okay? Another is young, so you can say, if it is more young, then you say younger. That's right, so this is the comparative form of an adjective, right? Now how about here? Oldest and youngest. Old. Older is more old. And then the last is oldest, which means the most old or oldest. Okay, the most. So this is comparative. This is superlative, all right? And the same for this adjective young, younger, and then what is the superlative? Youngest. Okay, how about we try another adjective? How about the word pretty? Pretty, prettier, prettiest, okay? How about large? Large, larger, largest. Very good. How about um, beautiful? Can I say beautifuler and uh, beautifulest? <laughs> All right. No. Okay. The secret here is the word beautiful has already how many syllables? Beautiful. It has three syllables already, so you have to say or use the words more beautiful, most beautiful, okay? The same with the word important. So you say more important, most important, okay? If the syllable, if the adjective has two, three or more syllables, you have to use more or most for the comparative and superlative form. No ER, no EST, okay? All right. So, so much for that. Okay, let's look at this, uh, this picture, right? And let's talk about it. So, this is um, the writer's family. So, he said, I love my family. Let's talk about this, guys. He has a big family, all right? He has, how many people are there in his family?
place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven people. Usually in Korea, how many members in the family? Three, four, five, right? All right. So in here, there is a question for you guys. Number one, do you have any brothers or sisters? Okay, do you have any brothers or sisters? Then you can say, yes, I have a brother. Or yes, I have one older brother. If you have two, you can say whether this brother is younger or older than you. Um, in my case, we're a teacher. All right, I have one younger brother. Okay, sister, I have three, two, I have two older sisters. No, I actually have one older sister and one younger sister. Okay, <laughs> suddenly I confuse myself. All right, now how about you guys? What's your answer here? Write it on your books. Okay, next, are you the oldest or are you the youngest? Are you the oldest or are you the youngest? Right here, I am the oldest or I am the youngest. Okay? All right. Now, this is Brian's story. Are you ready? Okay. Let's read Brian's story. I will read it for you slowly. Please repeat after me. Okay. Let's start. <clears throat> Let me tell you about my family. There are four people in my family. I have father, a mother, and an older brother. I am the youngest child in my family. My father is a salesman, and my mother is a homemaker. My brother is a middle school student. He is two years older than I am. On the weekend, my family often eats out at a restaurant. I am very close to my family. I love them all. All right, did you guys understand the story? So this story feels so warm, right? Brian is talking about his family and their activities and how close they are. How about you guys? Are you close to your family? Okay, now let's talk about this article. So here you can see, let me tell you about my family. There are four people in my family. There are four people in my family. Guys, when you talk, when someone asks you um, how many members are there in your family or how many people are there in your family, you can use this complete sentence, okay, to answer. Ah, there are four people in my family or there, there are three people in my family, like this. Don't just say, uh, hi, hey, how many people are there in your family? One, uh, two, three, four. Uh, don't answer like that, okay? You can answer, always try to answer in complete sentences. Mm, there are four people in my family, like this, okay? Next, I have a father, a mother, and an older brother. Always remember, okay, there is an article, a father, a mother, and an older brother. An article, a or an, before a noun, okay? Next, or a singular noun. I am the youngest child in my family. I am the youngest child. I already explained this. So, he is the last, okay, the youngest in the family. My father is a salesman. My father is a salesman and my mother is a homemaker. What is a salesman? Okay, usually we see the word sales, all right? And you know the word sell, right? So if you think about those words, a salesman is a person whose job is to sell things. That's right. So a person whose job is to sell things is a salesman. All right. Now how about this? My mother is a homemaker. What is a homemaker? We always see the word housewife, but what about a homemaker? Actually, they are the same, okay? A homemaker is a housewife, but we say a homemaker because, you know, a housewife usually is the manager in the house, okay, <laughs> right? Is your mom the manager in your house? <laughs> all right, so the mom practically manages everything in the house, so we can all say a homemaker or a housewife, all right? Next, my brother is a middle school student. What is a middle school student or what is middle school? That is right, so you start with kinder, and then the next is elementary, and then middle school. After middle school, what is next? High school, that's right. 
and he is two years older than me on the weekend. Teacher, can I say on the weekend or can I say on weekends? Yeah, they are also just the same, okay? My family often eats out at a restaurant. Eats out because family here is taken as a singular noun, all right? I am very close to my family. I love them all. What is the meaning of this word close here? I'm very close to my family. That is right. So when you have an affectionate relationship with like family, like siblings, brothers, sisters, or to your friends, you use the word close, all right? When you are close to Ray and teacher, you can say, oh, I'm close to Ray and teacher, okay? All right. Now, let's move on to answer the questions. Let's look here, guys. Let's read question number one. How many people are there in Brian's family? How many people are there in Brian's family? There are, write your answers here, how many? There are four, right. There are four people in his family because he said he has a father, a mother, and an older brother. So, there are four. All right, next. What does Brian's family often do on the weekend? His family often, on the last sentence you can see here, right? Here, his family often eats out at a restaurant. So, you can write here, his family often eats out at a restaurant. His family often eats out at a restaurant. Okay. All right, are you guys finished with that? If you are, let's go to writing basics. Okay. So using the same words and phrases that we studied from the article, this time you are going to look at the pictures, look at the pictures, and complete the sentences using the phrases in the box. All right? So what is the first phrase here? Repeat after me. An older brother, an older sister, a younger brother, two younger sisters. All right, let's look at the picture. So the picture says, this is you, me, okay? And then what do you have here? You have, okay, so if this is you and you have here, he is your younger brother, right here. I have a younger brother. That's right, I have a younger brother. How about here? This is you, and so what do you have? She looks bigger than her, so I guess you have an older sister, right? Okay, and the next, I have, where are you? You're here, and there are three other kids around you. So what is your answer? I have two younger sisters, right here, two. Two younger sisters and what? Look at him. He looks like an older brother, right? And an older brother. Okay. Are you guys all correct? All right. How about in this page? This is letter B. Okay. It's the same thing. What should you do? Just fill in the blanks also using any, okay? Any sisters, any brothers, or any brothers or sisters. Using the negative form, I don't have. I don't have any sisters, I don't have any brothers, or I don't have any brothers or sisters. Okay, let's look at the picture. So here, this is me, this is you, and you have two sisters here, all right? Which means, if you don't have two sis, if you have two sisters, then you don't have any brothers. I don't have any brothers. Okay, next. I don't have. This is you, and you have here an older brother. Okay. 
Okay, you have an older brother, which means you don't have, what is your answer here? Here, you don't have any sisters. You don't have any sisters, okay? And for number six, this is you, and right here is your mom, your mom and your dad. It's just you and your mom and your dad, then you don't have, you don't have any brothers or sisters, okay? You are an only child. Okay, are you guys all correct here? All right, if you are, then let's move on to writing basics two. Hmm, what, what is the task here? Look at the pictures, complete the sentences using the phrases in the box. All right, now here guys, you see there are numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right? And then you are going to fill in these numbers and you have to choose whichever you are in this picture. So for example, this is number one. What do you think of her? She is like, she's the tallest in the picture. So we can assume that she is, what? She is the oldest child. So number one, you can write here, I am, where is it? The oldest child. This is number one. I am the oldest child, okay? How about for number two? This is number two. So what can you say about her? She is, Yes, so we have here the second oldest child. Oldest and the second oldest, right? How about number three? Your hint is he is in the middle. Okay, he's in the middle, so he is the middle child. How about number four? We can't use the word oldest anymore because uh, we already used them. So the next is youngest. Here, the second youngest child, number four. The second youngest child. And for number five, the youngest, okay? How about in number six? All right, he is an only child. He's an only child, okay? Write your answers here, guys. I, I just wrote the numbers here because it takes time to write the answers, but for you, you have to write your answers on your book. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so did you finish that? Now let's move on to the next activity. What is your task? Count the number of people and complete the sentences. Count the number of people and complete the sentences. For example, my family. Okay, what, who are the members in your family? Me, mother, father, and one brother. So it means how many people are there in your family? There are four people in my family. There are four people in my family. How about here, in number one? So your family has you, your mom, and your dad. Which means how many members are there? There are There are three people, okay? There are three people in my family. Okay, how about here in number two? Me, mother, father, one sister, and one brother. How many are there? That's right, right here from this word. There are, okay, complete sentence. There are five people and it's already here in my family okay how about for number three so your family has you your mother your father two sisters and two brothers how many are there one two three four five six seven people so right here there are complete sentence guys. There are seven people in my family. Okay? It's so easy, right?
Okay. Are you done? Now let's move on to your next task. What is this? <clears throat> okay, here is the instruction. How many years younger? Okay. How many years younger or older are Tom's siblings? Okay. Oh, uh, what is the meaning of this word siblings, guys? Did I tell already? So when we say siblings, it means your brothers or your sisters. Okay. Complete the sentences like the example. So this is Tom. And how old is he? He said, I'm 10 years old. So Noah is nine years old, which means he is one year younger than I am. He is 10 and he is nine, okay? So you're going to write the answers here using Tom as an example, not you, not your real age, okay? Same here, Sophia is 15 years old, which means, compared with Tom, she is five years older than I am. Don't be confused. Oh, teacher, it says here that I am. Yes, that's right, that I am, but it says here, compare Tom's siblings. So you use here that I am, compared with Tom, okay? All right, let's try. Number one. Eva is seven years old, then she is, what is the answer here guys? That is right, Eva is seven years old, she is three years younger than I am, very good. How about here, Ethan, how old is Ethan? Ethan is 12 years old, 12 years old, so he is two years older than I am. Very good. How about here? Emily is six years old, then she is four years younger than I am. All right. Next number four, Ryan is 11 years old. He is, what? One year older than I am. Okay. Listen guys, please um, check your answers from here, from number three to number four. You have to write than, than I am, okay? Here, number four, two. Okay, and then here, don't miss it. Um, Emily is a girl, so you have to write she is. And then Ryan is a boy, so you have to write he is, okay? All right. So far, so good. It's not very difficult, right guys? All right, now let's move on to the next activity. All right, look at the example. Look at the example, write the sentences in the same way. What is this way? Okay, my brother. Okay, so these are the phrases, my brother. And then, middle school student. So, to use, to refer your brother, what is the pronoun? He, that's right. He is a middle school student. So, what is your task here? Use the correct pronoun. He, she, or they. Okay. He, she, or they. Now, if you use he, what is the be verb here? That's right, have to use is. He is, okay? And then you can write probably A or N, okay? Depending on the next word, okay? Or the next noun. And then if it is they, what is the next, what is the B verb? It's they are. Okay, guys? Let's try. Number one. My sister and the kindergarten student. My sister, kindergarten student. So my sister is a she, definitely. Oh my gosh, wait. She is a kindergarten student, okay. Guys, what is kindergarten? Okay, so little kids go to this school, you say, school for babies, right? Or for little kids, so you call that kindergarten, okay? Next, my brother and then elementary school student. 
question. So your brother is a what pronoun? It's a he. He is. And here, elementary, it starts with letter E. So my brother is an elementary school student. Okay, and my brother, he is an elementary school student. Okay, I'm not going to write it anymore, okay? Next, number four. My cousins. High school students. Um, who are your cousins, guys? What is the meaning of this word cousin? Right. So your uncle or your aunt's kids are your cousins. Okay? My cousins. So we have to use he or she or they. They. They are high school students. With an S over here, okay? They are high school students. How about for the last one? Mona. Mona and Eric, and then college students. They are college students. Okay, you guys got that correctly? Okay, if you did, let's move on to the next activity. All right, too many activities, right guys? Um, because the purpose of this book, that's why the title is Write Right, is because you have to practice how to write longer sentences, okay? Using a pattern or a certain structure so that you get the grammar correctly. So I know that there are many exercises to answer, but all these exercises are very, very helpful to you guys, okay? All right, let's move on. Writing practice two. What is the instruction? Match the phrases and write sentences like the example. Match the phrases and write the sentences like the example. So here, on the weekend, my family often. All right, so you just have to, you're going to use this whole phrase, all right, and then match this and write them here. All right, so let's see, for example, sees a movie. Where do you see a movie? Of course, you see a movie at a theater, right? So you're right here on the weekend. My family often sees a movie at a theater. My, on the weekend, my family often sees a movie at a theater. Okay, next, number three. Okay, how about here? Watches DVDs. Where do you watch DVDs? At a restaurant? Uh oh. At a park? Uh-oh. At a mall? Mm. Or at home, right? Okay, so write your answers here. On the weekend, my family watches DVDs at home. All right, and next is picnic. Has a picnic. On the weekend, my family has a picnic at a park. Very good. And the last one, number five. On the weekend, my family often goes to shopping. I love shopping. Where do you go shopping? Okay, at a mall. Usually in Korea, you say department store or outlet, right? It's the same as the word mall or shopping mall, okay? All correct, guys? All right, now if you're done with that, this is the last part, okay, of unit one. Not, not really the last, but the last exercise, okay, <laughs> because the next task will be more difficult. It's all by yourself, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so let's go to this part now. What is the instruction, guys? Correct the mistakes, correct the mistakes, and rewrite the sentences, which means all these four sentences are grammatically wrong. Something is wrong with these sentences. Find what is wrong, and you can put a slash or a circle or underline, and then write the correct sentence here in the blank. Okay, for example, number one, let I tell you about my family. Let I tell you about my family. What is wrong with this sentence? That's right, you have to say, let me tell you about my family. So here, you have to write the complete sentence. Let me tell you. If 
about my family. Okay, let me tell you about my family. Okay, how about here in number two? My father is salesman. My father is salesman, and my mother is homemaker. My father is salesman. My mother is homemaker. What is wrong with this sentence? That's right. There should be an article A. All right. Where? Where should I put it? My father is a salesman, and my mother is a homemaker. That's right. Next, number three. My brother is a middle school student with apostrophe s. Why? Why is there an apostrophe s there? Okay, so just take it out. Okay, there should not be any apostrophe s there. My brother is a middle school student. Number four. I am very close for my family. I am very close for my family. What is wrong with this sentence? I am very close to my family. I'm very close to my family. Okay, guys. All right. If you're all correct with that, then, ta-da! This is your homework. Okay. All right. This is actually your homework, but this organizing part will help you do your homework. All right. What is your task? Look at the example, okay? Look at the example and organize your writing, all right? So they look very similar here. My family, how many? Four people and then the members. In here, it's the same. Only there are blanks, okay? So this is your guide. My family, how many? Four people, four members, five. And then, what should you write here? Parents. So what does it say here? Father, mother, and then your siblings, and then their jobs. So over here, father, what is your father's job? Mother, what is your mother's job? And then siblings. Do you have, be more specific. Is it, a, is it an older brother or a younger brother? Okay, and then, is he a student or what, what type of student? And how about is his age, okay? So, type of student, for example, you have here your older brother, so middle school student. Age difference, not his age, but your age difference. So if you are 12 and your brother is 15, you have three years difference, okay? Listen guys, be careful with this, don't miss it. The question says, you have to write the age difference between you and your sibling. And then here also, brother or sister, if you have another sibling. Now, teacher, I'm an only child. I don't have any siblings. Uh, skip this part, okay? Skip. And then, for the family activities, what do they do? They like to eat out at a restaurant. So here, family activities blank. What do you like to write here? Um, go uh, ride a bike in the park, go hiking, or uh, see a movie, any activities, fine, all right? After you finish this organizing part, transfer your writing here to the drafting, okay? Don't be confused, you still have your guide here, your title, what is the title, guys? My family, or I love my family. Right, and then your introduction. Let me tell you about my family, okay? And then for the body, what is the first part? The question here says, um, how many? So there are, how many? There are five people in my family, all right? And then the next one, family members. Who are the family members? There are, oh, I have, a father, a mother, an older brother, and a younger sister over here, okay? So the, all your answers will vary, of course, because you have different numbers of family members, right? Next, that's just my example. And then here, what is your position in the family? Are you the oldest? Are you the middle child? Are you the youngest? Are you the second youngest? I am the, listen guys, when you use the superlative form of an adjective, you always put the article the. 
um, the most handsome, the most beautiful. So just like here, the oldest, the youngest, all right, or okay. Anyways, when you use the superlative, always add the article the, okay. And then over here, what is the instruction? What is your guide here? Type of student, and then your age difference, and then you can see here your family activities. So basically, everything that you're going to write here, you will just transfer them here. After that, there is another task. What is that? Okay, you guys have your workbook, okay? <laughs> so, after you write the organizing part, write them here in the revise and edit, and then also, transfer them here to the final draft. Look, teacher, why do I have to write them three times? Why? Why? Too much work. Okay, why? In here, you have the guide. Okay? So even if, even if you don't look here, you can do this. Because it will tell you this is the title, this is the introduction, this is the body, how many members in the family, right? So, after this, after you do this, it will allow you to do the revise and edit part, which is actually pretty much the same. It will, it will still give you some guides. How many family members, your position in the family. So, up to here is like your practice, okay, on writing correct sentences. But when you do it here in the final draft, I hope you can just write your articles without looking in this drafting part. It means you can already write your own correct sentences. Okay? I hope so. Alright. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed today's class and I really miss you. Okay? I hope to see you really, really, really soon. Stay safe. Goodbye.